replay. Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Linda Reed Enver, and welcome to another BBB Skills webinar. In this webinar, we are talking course creation and turning the knowledge that you already have into an online course for your business. I am joined by our resident course guru, Patty McGill. Hi, from everyone. Pacific, who is going to help us teach you how to create a course. And this is your chance to get in. And if you're live here on the webinar with us, ask as many questions as you can about the course creation journey. We have got some amazing challenges for you in it. And if you're not watching the replay, then you can always ask us questions on the replay too, and we'll come back to it. Definitely. And again, big shout out to our uh, mastermind uh, members as well. So thank you for being awesome. And uh, you know, you know that being part of the mastermind means you can like reach out to us directly, uh, ask me questions, ask Linda questions. So yeah. Uh, and for those that want to know what the mastermind is, stick around and, uh, and find yeah. out. So, it's fun. So what I thought, um, what we're going to do is we're going to talk a bit more about how to turn uh, your knowledge into, or how turning your knowledge into an online course. Obviously, Online courses is uh, the $200 billion industry, according to Forbes, uh, where it's going to be in the next couple of years. I think in like, 2015, it's like $100, $100 billion. So it just sort of shows like, you know, how much of an opportunity there is out there. Um, but I, why? But if you've not sat on any of our previous webinars, uh, with Linda and I, where we've talked, about, we've talked very high level about why you should be creating online courses, yep. I, I'm going to give everyone a quick reminder now. I'm going to give you a quick refresh on what an online course is, a couple of the key points, and then we're going to dive right into that into that topic. So if everyone's good to go, good. let's yep. get that. Let's get it started, guys. A little bit different to our other webinars, in particular this one. Patty and I want to answer your questions and answers it as much as we possibly can at the end. So if you're looking at creating a topic or you're looking at anything like that, put it in the Q and A. We will answer stuff as as we go along, but I really want to get in there and help you with your course creation ideas at the end of the course. So we're going to maybe power through our slides today, Patty. What do you reckon? Yeah, um, and then get yeah, then get into the Q and A, so we can really give you some advice. Now it might mean we go a little bit over, but I'm cool to do that with you guys today to make sure that we get some really cool courses created out of this webinar. Absolutely, yeah. Keep uh, keep asking uh, all the questions. Those yep. on Zoom with us, get them in the Q and A, and obviously Facebook. Just get we'll in the comments, and we'll, and we'll yeah, we'll do everything we can, either now or after. Yep, beautiful. So, uh, so hands up. What's an online course? Does anyone know? Does anyone know what an online course is? Type it in the chat. I know. See where we're going. <laughs> people in the chat what do you think of online courses let us know let us know in the chat so although this isn't like the, you know, the oxford dictionary definition oh. um why because that would be a really easy uh, piece of content for us for the slide wouldn't it what's an online <laughs> <laughs> here's the oxford dictionary definition but um an online course is really it's a, it's a digital information product it allows you to allows your students to have like a transformative experience that allows them to change, allows them to gain something, uh, something of yours, knowledge, insights, skills. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, but again, it can, it can be any type of information. So it's got videos, audio files, text, slides, quizzes, worksheets, what we're e doing now, eBooks. What we're doing now is, you know, you could just repackage this video right now and put it onto a course. And say this is how you know I could do a course on how to turn your knowledge into online course. <laughs> Repurpose, it, package up this video, then split the profits with you know Linda, <laughs> ninety ten in her favour. <laughs> but <laughs> but the idea, but the idea is so that we will got, put the replay in the mastermind anyway. We'll definitely today. <laughs> put the replay in the mastermind for hundred percent. So so the idea is that you can use any type of uh, any type of sort of method of delivery of your material. Um, online so videos PDFs quizzes it doesn't matter what it is so um, quick quick sort of ones or chats uh, who's who's actually taken an online course before so let us know and let us know actually where you've maybe taken them so it'd be really interesting to hear yeah that. that'd be awesome and what what have you loved it guys and the other thing is what did you love about an online course mm. um, I tend I've, to keep my courses really personal like you know Patty you know how people arm and are naturally yeah the reality of it is you can take 1,500 takes and not get rid of an armor and an R. Um, sometimes people want to relate to you. So sometimes those little mistakes make it work. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big believer in that. Like I've yep. had some shockers on, like certainly on webinars where, you know, I've asked, the, I've asked people to give names of, to, of, names of courses, yep. like funny courses, 
and then eventually it had to be keep the jokes clean and then Ooh. keep the joke keep the keep the course title free of jokes <laughs> and free of innuendos <laughs> Uh, and then eventually I just stuck to the standard how to survive a Canadian winter. Liz has taken a course with Laura Huxley called Speaker's Little Secret. Gee, I like the name of that one. Speaker's Little Secret. I wonder what that's about. I have to check that Ooh. out, actually. Speaker's Little Secret. Later. Yeah, I do, a, I do a course with um, uh, the guys who run uh, Use Proof. So they yep. do like Entrepreneur entrepreneurs alliance mm -hmm. um it's only like one of the other only few courses that i've taken and it's, it's been pretty good like it's been pretty good so uh shout out to the guys awesome. there but um want to sort of talk a bit more about the, what really are the key reasons so obviously number one it's about making that money so it's a great opportunity <laughs> i don't want to like let's not mean, let's not mean let's not words. Words. We're here it's, to make money. it's a great way it's a great way to make money online okay so um What's really important is that when you're when you're like trying to scope out like your your topic idea, you've got to find something that's going to be that, that something that is going to be that's going to have like a market demand. Yep. So, so if it's like very specific, something doing something that's also very very specific, and very very hyper niche, then you've got to you've got to sort of figure out whether or not that is going to fit your uh, whether or not there's going to be that market demand. Um, but we're going to go into that a little bit later about how yep. to. Uh, like, find your course topic um the next one is going to be for like lead gener generation and customer acquisition so something linda does something i've done on my own courses um we generate basically we we produce a small piece of content for free and give yep. it away for free to our audience uh, as what we call a lead magnet you guys, uh, in then, our school, you'll see two yeah. courses in that one. So there's there's the ebook clive's ebook inside business is up there as a freebie that people can sign up for and when you do this Top tip of advice, give them another call to action at the end. So in his ebook, there's yeah. the ebook and then there's the opportunity in the booking link to go and book into his calendar. So it's about making sure that that follows through. And then I've got newsworthy moments in business, which leads into all the other PR marketing courses. So yeah. I don't have too many freebies. I tend to keep them limited and targeted. But see that see that Linda's like just basically nailed it completely there. So that 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 is absolute that's absolutely correct. You've got to it's gonna be it's going to be very relevant. It's going to be relevant, relevant for your audience. If it's just like, you know, top 10 recipes. Yep. You and know, you don't cook anything or you don't yeah, sell food. No it doesn't work. Yeah. But if you keep like top 10 recipes for busy students, busy entrepreneurs, busy yep. whoever it is, male, females who want to lose weight whilst doing four hours on the road or who <laughs> want to do that work 20 <laughs> Like 20 hours a day, you know, it doesn't matter what it is. You know, it doesn't matter what it is. If anyone so, can invent the how to eat while driving around on the road and not can replace meals with coffee, I'll take that one. I've got, just I've got an idea meal for that. Replacement. Get one of those beer hats, Linda, and then put like <laughs> and um, put my two coffees in it. <laughs> two, two coffees and just go for it. Hands free, okay. distraction free. But um, next one is to educate your existing customers. So yes. I know this sounds, this sounds almost like sort of counterintuitive. You know, you're using courses to get people to come in but actually if you're like an organization if you're a consultant if you're you know if you're a business owner this is a great way to, and you're and you're, you know you're trying to like educate your customers to, to so they can actually know more about who you are or maybe like new opportunities that are coming up within your business or maybe like a new piece of software so we've launched our new site builder which we'll cover off later yep. and you know we've just launched a, a 15 minute training video on how to do it and, and, and a course now guys after our last webinar, Patty and I were talking about later and then doing their onboarding pro process via this. We, yeah. most of you know, I run Media Connections as well, Media Hub. So we actually did that. We took all of our welcome videos, all of our welcome tutorials and our handy articles that we wanted our members to read and we've popped it into an online course. You know what the advantage for us is in that particular one? Is I now know which members have seen the how-to content as well because yeah. I'm allowed to get in the back end and I can go, oh, great. You know, this person's looking at it and they're looking at their campaigns really well. But then I can also tell when we get questions in the support group, the members I need to refer back to the courses. If you take the course, you'll actually see the information. So it's mm -hmm. really, really handy from that point of view. And it's given us a better insight to our members within no time flat at all. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's a great way to do it, Linda. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we, we do. We definitely do something similar. I mean, in fact, when we do... Uh, our, our replays for webinars we always put them into our training.thinkofit.com site make the course like hidden and private so it yep. can only be accessed by you uh, by you and you watching around around the world yep. um fantastic way to do it so i want to uh, just shoot a question now to uh, to everyone so um 
what does it what does it really take to create an online course? What what do you think it takes? So, give us a shout into the chat. Chat, uh, yes. Linda, Linda, I'm going to pose this question to you. Like, like, what what, what do you think it takes to create an online okay. course? So, guys, and these are most probably my top identifiers when we want to create an online course. What does it create? Why a the passion and drive to do it? Because if you're not motivated to do it, that's fine. B it takes a pain point with your client base. So. In the two courses I'm working on at the moment are how to write your available for interview profile for the media and how to create a media release. Now, how to create a media release, I deliver it in the classroom all the time. Um, and how to write your interview profile is part of my other workshops. Now, these are actually two sections in the Working with the Media course, but they're two sections that people want to buy by themselves. So we put those two courses together because they're the pain points. The other time, you, what it takes to create an online course is the idea. And the idea is quite often sitting within your information. And I, we, I know we're going to cover this further, Patty, but if you do nothing else today, guys, go to your FAQs and <laughs> see what you continually repeat yourself on to customers because that's what needs to be a course. Now, it could be a free course that you put together or it could be a paid course. Um, or use things like the BBB Facebook group and go, well, what the heck are my people always asking about? And find that and then turn that into a course. It's the questions, it's the pain points, and it doesn't have to be rocket science. Yeah. You can do two camera stuff like Patty and I because we love our camera. Um, or you can do voiceover slides or you can do audio or you can do downloads. It doesn't have to be. It's what's right for you and your market. That's Never very true. what's right for anyone else. Right for it. you and your market. And I, I think that also... Answer. That I mate, that's amazing. Uh, I think with I think that's that whole section is just done that done now. Awesome. Um, <laughs> but I think that I think what's really important uh, is that you've got to you've got to commit to the success of your students uh, and your your your, your customers mm -hmm. slash students because that is ultimately what is going to make your course successful. Now, not just based on the fact you were able to drive X amount of you know, leads from a Facebook ad onto yep. your onto your course and then you know they paid you money that shouldn't really be the definition of your of like your success your success when it comes to a course it has to be you know, did they actually complete the course did they yep. did they finish it did they engage with you you know were they getting in touch with you and saying hey i just took that course it basically transformed me i you know, i've lost in my case five stone in weight i'm feeling so much better or you know i now know how to run know how to do uh, online webinars and how to use Facebook yep. Live. Know all the all the good stuff. We have that 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 transformation. So if you're able to offer that transformation to your students, it's that it's has huge. to be that has to be, yeah, it's huge. Has to be the number one thing. And look, it's it's gonna take hard it's gonna take hard work, right? It's can can I dispel yeah. the myth about passive passive income? Yeah. Passive income it. only happens if you work to achieve it. Nice. I mean, there, is, that's there, a nice is, there is no there. way the passive income and like, I love all these conversations about sitting on the beach for two hours and, you know, earning my absolute fortune in courses, but it takes work to get you to that point. Um, mm. I'm not the type of person that's ever going to sit on the beach for two hours, you know, 20 hours a day and work too. That's just not my style. But the reality of it is guys, it takes work and it's consistent marketing. Yeah. So Absolutely. you can sit on the beach for 20 hours a week and have someone else market it for you, but someone's got to market it. Yeah, exactly. And that's, <laughs> you know, I, I like to use the uh, analogy like Rome, Rome, wasn't, Rome wasn't built in a day, right? It was an no. empire that took thousands of years to, uh, to build. And, you know, funnily enough, could take, you know, it, and it's the same with your course sites, you know, it's going to take a, lot, it's going to take a long time in terms of your, you know, the hard, the hard work and getting it to that trillion dollar, seven figure course empire. But, the fact is that you can, you don't need to be like a, a PhD. You don't need to be, a, a, you know, a, don't need to be a, like a had a degree or any other type of um, like formal training. You need yes. to have, you need to, although obviously it's nice depending on, obviously if you're teaching someone how to be a doctor, then you know, obviously there's certain rules and regulations there, but, but it's, you know, it's about sharing it's, your knowledge. Exactly. You know, if you're sharing your knowledge, you're sharing your passion, um, and you can find that intersection between that. So your, your, your passion, your knowledge, and also the demand. So if you're looking like a Venn, Venn diagram yep. and trying to get that, that, that little that bullseye in the middle, if you can do that, then you're going to be really, really good to go when it comes to uh, finding, your, you know, finding your, your start. 
One of the tips that I give clients is going, having a look at, you know, Google search terms and search keywords and those sorts of things when we're looking for blog posts. It's the same with looking for courses. If they're searching for it, they will take it. Definitely. And like in, Always the same, like another, another good place actually is Quora. I don't, yep. Linda, do you use Quora? Yeah, use Quora. Yep. I haven't been there yeah. for a couple of weeks because it's been crazy, but yes, I do. Yeah, so Quora is a great place there. And that's, that's also a great way to find like, you know, suggested topics. posts, suggested topics. Yeah, it's a great way to find topics. And especially, so uh, quick, let us know in the chat because I'm really, really yep. curious to see what people's like subject matters are. Yeah, let us um, know what you're doing. Put chat, your course together um, on. Facebook Live as well. And let us know what you're doing. And I know so, Clive's watching today and he's going to do some courses this year all on his own. <laughs> on business so Clive, that is on camera, mate. And, yeah. uh, <laughs> I, expect a, I expect a call very, very soon, sir. Oh, <laughs> look, you can just deliver it. You can take him through his course project. I'll hand I will it take him, I will take him through it. So <laughs> no worries, mate. But we'll get that, we'll get it sorted out for you. Um, so you're probably wondering, right, okay, so courses like sound great. This is, you know, where do I start? Where do you sign me up? Yeah. Right, so... First of all, we need to start thinking about your course topic. We need to start defining it. We need to start refining it. Um, and the idea is that we need to think about how your students live different. So, you know, we were talking about this like transformative experience, you know, the, the objective um, that the student is, is craving for, because that is really, that's really it. Because you can sell them all the benefits, all the features in the world about um, your product, your service, your mastermind. It doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. But, people are going to really crave that outcome. You know, people don't buy diet products because they want to, you know, because they love the taste of it. They buy it because they want to lose weight. I mean, I, I've, I took some of that Soylent stuff. It was probably the worst thing I've ever, <laughs> it was like 200 calories and it's just powdered sand with water. And yep. Have fun. It, it tastes disgusting, but it, it works. So that's the thing. You've got to look at it that way. You've got to look at those outcomes. So Tasha's not um, on this course today, but you need to go to her, her, your fertile pantry stuff and eat real food. <laughs> I, I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> Liquid diet isn't doing me too good. No, it's not um, good for you. <laughs> um, and then we've got to think about like, who is it, who's it exactly that you're helping and how we will help him. Um, because, you know, an online course can just be more than posting a video. It can be more than posting a, you know, posting an ebook typing some text out in our text editor and reset. Mm -hmm. Now, no, you could do that. But you got, again, you've got to think about what is that experience? What, how are you actually going to help them? So it's super, super important when you put this together. Now, um, I've got like a little, like a little sort of exercise that I like people to walk through. So um, it's to really start figuring out like your course topic and your, and your course idea. So what I like to do is say it's like my course topic will help and then think of your audience, get this result by blank. So if you can start framing out your course content in that, your course topic that way, it's really going to give you an excellent start in terms of like trying to figure that out. Um, and we should give you a good baseline on where to go. Um, but Linda, where, where do you, where do you, where would you say, or when you created your first course topic, how did you do it? Like, okay. tell me more about that. So what, so my first course topics came, um, one came, well, the first topic we ran through Thinkific was the Educate Your Market Challenge. And there'd been lots of conversation inside the BBB group about how do I market my business? How do I do that sort of stuff? And I keep saying, you know, mm. educate your market. So actually yeah. share it. So Clive and I did a joint course together. It's still there for you to take, which actually steps you out over 28 days, a different activity and a different mindset about how you can educate your market. So that was the challenge that we launched from there. Then I went to my classroom courses. So I went to the ones that I taught. You know, what did I guess speak on? What did I share information on? So they were the ones that I created a course on second. Um, and then blogging for business was one that came up purely out of chance um, because I kept having these people come up and talk to me at a business expert going, I have no idea where to start. What do you mean a business blog? How do I do that? So I created a course because the pain point was there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think I record. I actually did. I recorded the um the pre-sale video for that at that eventual at that actual conference with my little selfie cam video camera on the phone and the selfie light. And went, yeah, that'll do. Um, so I recorded the how-to for that one, and that one pre-sold itself. By the end of that day, it had ten already ten registrations. So I identified the pain point. I pre-sold it. We got the course together and got the information out there. The other courses I've delivered are some of my workshops that I deliver face-to-face -face because I know 
inside this country. I can't travel to everywhere for those who want to take yeah. our courses. And there, you know, we've got 26 and 22 and a half thousand members, 22, six members inside a community that want to access knowledge. I just can't yeah. get everywhere. Um, so I, online I has been the great way to do it. So it's been one of those things, but my course creation topics tend to come from, and the, the biggest one that we're about to do, which I have, don't know if I've told you about, is in August we plan to do a virtual skills summit where we're bringing in experts from mm. all over the area and teaching you on skills summit. So there's going to be an hour a day for the day, day of August to nice. be able to come in and learn. Could be two hours a day depending on how many people I get involved. Um, you say you're saying online or off online? online? Online, online school summit. So re released Am a new, a new yes. <laughs> you're going to do the course creation one. I just haven't told you okay, yet. You gonna... <laughs> I told <Sorry>. you now. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to have all of these experts come in and share their knowledge because Perfect. I know what it's like. Do you know what it's like when you go, get to go to a conference and there's all these really great speakers, but that yeah. takes a day or two, three days out of your office. Yeah. I know what it's like as a small business owner to go. I just don't have that time. It does. It, it takes, I've, I've organized attending a conference as a private, as a, like a primary yep. sponsor and it is an enormous amount of work. And we were like filming and videoing like people like Jack Canfield, yep. Lewis Bowers, you know, lots and lots of different people um, for a, for a course that we were running after. Yeah. It takes, it takes a long time. And we, uh, we ran a conference, online conference, we online 2016. Yep. Wow. It's like, I feel like we the, the years have flown by already at Think. I know. And like that's I that's like why we want to put it is available to everyone. So available to all of our members, available to the members who have to take three or four planes to get to a capital city. Yeah. Yeah. This is, it's, it's a great way to, it's a great way yep. to spread that to a message. So yeah, mate, anything we can do to help, we, we are, Absolutely. we are there with bells you'll be, on. You'll be, you'll be doing, you'll be doing bits about course creation. Don't worry. <laughs> I have you on the list. I just got to get the email <laughs> campaign together. Um, guys, but that's one of the things that you can do. We can, you can get the experts in your field together and get them to mm. deliver a course. Cause Patty, you you and I both know there's, there's revenue share within the Thinky Fix setup or there's affiliates yep. that you can set up so that people can it. market it and share it with their area of expertise and being able to get these platforms and these great virtual conferences together. Exactly. You know what? Like a lot of uh, a lot of people are so willing to help. You know, there's that. There's always that that big thing about you know helping people. You know, giving yep. first, giving first. You know, everyone wants. To, everyone does want it. That, that everyone does want to give. So do want to give. Exactly. Um, so don't be shy and don't be afraid to actually go out there and, and like Linda said, talk to these experts. You know, talk to me. Talk to Linda. Talk to people in the in the BBB community. Ask those questions, and again, you'll start to figure out in course topics course summits, lots and lots of different ideas. So now guys, when defining your topic, good. it's also okay to ask your audience what the heck they'd like to learn. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That already gets you a qualified lead. <laughs> you got it. Look, I, I say to everyone, um, I, I say, I say to everyone that this, I, I see, might still see on the slides as you can do this now. You absolutely can do this now. So for yeah. those that, are, that absolutely. are, Want to take the action, and we're gonna do, we're gonna all do it. I say we'll do a shot together. <laughs> that's, that's, that's water, not vodka. I'm on herbal tea. <laughs> do you know how bad that is for a coffee drinker to be drinking herbal tea? That means I've yeah. drank too much coffee already this morning. Mate, I'm surprised you're not gonna like spit that out. <laughs> it's okay, it's not a fruity one. It's peppermint. That's about as close as I can no, get to any okay. herbal. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same. I hate fruit teas. Um, but I'm saying for everyone, like you can, what you can do now is go on to go on to your Facebook if you know, and if you if this is something that you've been thinking about for a while, like you know, ask the question. Just ask the question. This is it. This literally is your moment now to go onto your Facebook. Say, hey everyone, I'm going to be running a course. I'm thinking of running a course on like keep your topic broad for this time. Say yep. on healthy living, cooking whatever it whatever it is whatever your course topic is say so, and, and i'd love to get some feedback or i'd love to the first 10 people that are interested in finding out more uh just like reply back or tell me what you would like to uh, learn like, more about. run a poll run a poll polls, polls are like are so it's like, awesome. it, polls are like the the that's it it's like if you do a poll you'll get everything you need yep. and then you could arguably have if you get a great response as well then you've got like one course two course three courses you got a free part series there ready to be ready to Patty, be built. One of the tools that we've got on um, BBB and we'll, it'll be coming out in the 30 days of business tools, which we're running for April is survey sparrow. If oh, you yeah. want to validate and test your idea, why not run a survey on it? 
Absolutely. Because not only then have you got the, oh my God, I know what I, I know these people want to do it, but you've also got a lead list. And then you can thank those people who've taken the survey by giving them a mm. discount or giving them early access rate to that course sure. because they're already, once again, Verified, uh, verified targets and they valid you validated validated your idc i hate that word um <laughs> there are some words i hate i can type them i can't say them. Keep, keep <laughs> <them too. laughs> yeah, that's right give me more coffee um and yet you tend to test subjects if you need to get test people in there do this but you yeah. can do this now this is the biggest thing i would say to people every mm. one of our members has information and knowledge that they can share if you do not share that knowledge the only people you are letting down is your audience. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You see, it's, a, it's, your, it's your duty to share it. It has to be shared. Yep. And you know what? Don't <laughs> worry. my challenge for the year. That's it. Like, and you know what? If people, you know, if you, you may hear this, you may have that niggling sort of niggling thought in your head and you're thinking, well, you know, if it's, if people can go learn anything for free. People, people will buy into what you have to say because they crave that accountability that they, they crave that like delivery of the course content because you can learn any subject you want online for free go on youtube sit and watch a, no, a bunch hours of, videos. of videos hours of videos but it's not going to sync remember we were earlier we were talking yeah. about student success engaging with your audience reaching out to them ensuring they're taking quizzes you know all these all these little things really do add up and that's what's going to give you the a very very successful course so also, when it comes to getting your test subjects, now I love my mum to pieces, but if I said to her, hey mum, come and like review my affiliate marketing course, she's, of course she's going to say, yes dear, that's amazing, how much do, can I have a discount? <laughs> of course I'm going to say no, all price. <laughs> but, um, but the idea is that you've got to use, so you've got to use someone who, uh, test subjects that can give you that like tough that tough feedback that tough love as well and and keep it relatively objective because unless obviously they're in the same area that you're in but if, mm -hmm. if you if you do that and you get that feedback then you really do use it to help yep. shape your first course or when you start to pre-launch which we're going to cover off very soon awesome. so um well actually one thing we didn't cover off actually was uh, you know look at your look at actually your current clients and your current lists these are the again these are pe people you've worked with. for consultants out there um, and again, like Linda's touched on this when we're talking about the most common questions being asked, yeah. talk to your, like your top 50 client lists or the, or the people that you are engaged with on a regular basis and just ask them, like, and said, just quite ease on, it sounds so simple of case of what do I just bring them up or do I just send a mail and say, Hey, this is what I'm thinking of doing. Would you be interested in like finding out more about it? And guarantee if you do that, you're going to get, you're going to get a response. Now, if exactly. it's no fine but if you but i guarantee you're going to get some mm, that sounds interesting you've got to do yeah, it good. you've got to do it you've got to take you've got to take action you have to take action no more procrastination no more procrastination oh so that's, that's a t-shirt for the business life range <laughs> there you go. i want to split you want to split on that one 8, 10, 8, 10, <laughs> okay <laughs> i'll send you the link once and, and a free t-shirt which i'll wear on the, oh yeah actually Beautiful. we should uh, you know, we should definitely Let's definitely think of swag though, and then we can offer it out as an exclusive perk. Oh, must my community. Uh, I'm gonna look into it straight after this webinar and uh, see what we can do. You so, can send uh, me a, a jacket so we can be think you think you picked up together. I'll do that. I'll do that. Well, you don't wear my one covered dog hair. Which I've got. <laughs> <laughs> it's like just jumping on top. Um, right. So, want to talk a bit more about when it comes to creating content? Now, you're probably thinking. Okay, so this sound this does sound good. I've got some people that are interested in creating content. Now, Caddy, I'm going to uh, add a third. I'm going to add another one to that three because I think I think audio's got good value to it for those who don't. Absolutely, it doesn't need slides. Some people like to listen to content. Yeah, I mean, look, podcasts are a huge industry. Uh, audio books are a huge like a huge industry. Audible's made it mm -hmm. super super easy to sit back and listen to you know listen to great books. Um, now there is like there's like there's tons and tons and tons of content you can create, um, but these are these tend to be, uh, in my experience, these are the ones that we see a lot of on our on our platform. Yep. But Linda is absolutely right. Audio is is right up there. It's definitely like number four for sure. Um, video is is absolutely the primary method. Now videos yes. by way of webinars, videos by way of me, uh, you know, being on my phone and talking down the lens or me on camera. Um, 
any type of video you can use. So if you've, if you've been, you know, recorded at a conference, if you've ever done a presentation, all that, all that, all that video content, you can package it right up and put it yep. into online course. Now you're probably thinking, right. So if I've, I've got a YouTube channel and I've created 10 videos on how to become a stellar businessman, why on earth is everyone then going to pay? Like, why is then everyone going to like pay for that same content? But the idea is, is that when you take those 10 videos, you then put that as like your, your top, like the, yes. the, 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 the very, very top of your course. And then you start to build add underneath. To so add to it much more but succinct than bearing how I in mind guys, what, what YouTube doesn't allow you to do. And I look, I love YouTube, got the channel works yeah. well for me, but the thing YouTube doesn't allow you to do is it doesn't allow you to back up those videos with a PDF or it doesn't allow you to back up those videos mm. with a quiz or it doesn't allow you to back up the video with the things to read. And then when I went through my course creation journey, one of the things that people said is they love the video, but sometimes they just want to read. Yeah. So we some we made a conscious effort to try and summarize our video content into readable content and downloadable content that people could reference to. That makes sense. So being aware of that now, it doesn't take rocket science to do it. You can use services like rev.com to transcribe your videos. Yeah. I've got a super I've got a super awesome hack for, for the very for the very thrifty uh oh, you're I'm gonna very time uh i and this isn't this isn't perfect and it does require a little bit of work after but i i usually get my mic and put it near my speaker and hit like google uh, google, google talk to type. type yep and it, and it just transcribes everything it's not you'll need to go back in after yeah, but yeah, you you know, did, did, did. i love google talk to type don't get me wrong it's how half my blog posts come about <laughs> okay. yeah, i've started to, i've started to use it more of it recently but i i, I still like I say like, you know, full stop, next sentence. I have to, it's really strange saying that to get it to the... Scripting your courses too. Google mm. Talk to Type is awesome because you're not trying to t transfer words you've typed. You can speak out what you want to say and then give yourself a guideline to follow. It's yeah. really awesome. In fact, that, that's how I do um, a lot of my, that's how I do a lot of my slides here. Actually, Linda, so you, you've hit the nail on the head there. Oh. When I do my slides and I try to transcribe it, then I'll, I'll put any information I need to learn in there uh, straight away, which actually brings us on quite nicely to voice over, voice over slides. So, wow. Wow. What, what a segue. What a, what a segue. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the, one of the best ways, and actually the, the first time I ever created a course was, was the, was doing this. So I, um, I had, I bit out like a, a slide presentation, eight slides about how to choose an affiliate network for your, uh, for your, for your company. Um, wrote all that down and then I thought, okay, so I want to build, I wasn't that, that time confident on camera, but I thought, you know what, I could deliver, I could definitely, definitely sell it, so yep. to speak. About it. Um, and then I was able to take those slides, convert into a PDF, upload them to Thinkific, and then start to just record my voice over each slide. And like um, what Linda was saying, it, it comes really natural. So once you've, because you've built the content, you've typed it up, you've made it look nice and fancy, but now it's the time to actually deliver the content, yep. which you know that, most people have done on a regular basis. So people who are like consultants, coaches, authors, people who have You have a PowerPoint that. presentation somewhere yeah. in your library that you could voice over slides. Definitely. So actually that means it's like quite nicely in this. So I just <laughs> I like this picture of the Lego Lego dude. Lego Explorer. Lego Explorer. <laughs> Let's call him Fred. Fred's gonna find some <laughs> course content today. So this is this the thing as well. This really does like another another great segue into you know using your existing documents, methods, things that you've done at work, the way that, you know the way that you've worked with businesses. If this is documented, this is this is great information that you can share. With. Obviously, as long as you're legally able to share, yep. don't condone sharing. Uh, you know Guys, your office your, office decks and stuff like that. Your analytics will tell mm. you the most popular blog posts you have on your site, your Absolutely. Google Analytics. Jump in there and find out what they are. Absolutely. And if you yeah, don't have Google Analytics thing. installed on your site, install it on your site and then go back and look in a week or so's time. Um, yeah, and if you don't know how to do it, I'm pretty sure we've got a guide. Certainly if you're thinking school, we've yep. got a guide on how to do it. So uh, let us know. But your eBooks, all of your eBooks have got absolute golden content. You've created these eBooks to give away. Yeah. Let's let's expand on the ebook. You can give the ebook away, but you can expand on it to a whole course. 
Yeah, and like I've seen people like give away like the first chapter free yep. as a as a as a PDF, and then it's like come and unlock the rest of the, the rest of you know, it, yep. content. Um, and you know, it's very easy to just copy and paste and put that into your your Think of It school, and you can read it on screen or have it as a PDF. I've got um, another idea from Think of It schools. What are you talking about? Talks. Yeah. Do you know how you do virtual virtual um presentations and that sort of stuff, and you talk as a guest speaker? Get all mm. of your talks, especially if you've had any of them recorded live, and actually put them into a school that you can send potential guests, potential guest um, people through to to come and have a look. Because not only do they see that link, then they see the rest of your school. So um, I mentioned earlier I'm, I'm a member of um, the Entre- Entrepreneurs uh, Alliance, oh, yep. uh, Macarthur Youth Proof, and um, their their whole content. I don't like sort of spoil it, but like their whole content is based the vast majority of it is a like two-way conversation or a three-way conversation between uh you know the guys who run that and then you know their guests so what yep. linda said you know when people you know just like the two of, i keep like sort of looking this way because i've got our pictures side by side so I'm sort ah, of like, but see if you move our pictures to the center of the screen like derek said in our zoom webinar you can actually just look directly at me so drag and drop in go. front of your camera there you go <laughs> <laughs> there we go so now i'm like, you can write down. Yeah, now you're looking at me. <laughs> so, so the idea, you know, the idea with those guys is that they, they, they were just, you know, they were doing joint ventures and partnerships, and they were yeah. just simply, I hate to use the, you know, the shooting the proverbial. They were just talking about, you know, the ideas of how to, you know, build Facebook ads or become an entrepreneur, whatever it is. But the idea is that they, they sit and they talk, and then you are able to then take that content and put it into their into school and you could absolutely do that so if you've worked with you know look at people that are in your industry uh look at people you like respect and admire and people you you know you've got like a uh, a rapport with maybe look inside the bbb uh you know membership directory you know so maybe people have got complementary skills and reach out to them say hey i'm thinking of like doing a talk on x and i think that your Mm. subject matter knowledge would be great fit for this would you be interested in having to Bam, that's like your first, could potentially be your first module. So yes. that's another great, that's definitely another great way to do it. And of course, if you're doing a talk offline, if you're someone who does like keynote speeches, keynote talks, if you're on the road all the time um, and you're doing like sales presentations as well, um, get, you know, maybe get the blessing from your clients. So I'm just going like to record myself doing a video, uh, recording this, set, this sales presentation and then, you know, use that. Pop it up. Yeah, pop it up. So I just, got, I just made myself another to-do list. Although all our replays are on YouTube and on the website, I'm going to go and load them into the Thinkific school so the old school's webinar replays are in one spot as well. So top tip, if you've got... Uh, if you I'm going to do them by link. I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to reload them. I'm going to link them all in. <laughs> so if everyone wants to know what, that, what, what she means by cheating, so she's going she's gonna to uh, select a multimedia file type and then she's going to grab the zoom link and she's just going to no i'm even going to go worse than that they're all on the website i'm just going to literally link everyone out to where they are on the website (laughs) (laughs) so i will do the individual replays but so guys when you do that it's really simple um so multimedia link in in that space was what um patty's talking about i've got all our replays embedded on the on the existing webinar link that we put out on our website, on on um, BBB, so in the skills we have in our replays. So all I'm going to do is create that library by putting our URL for that post into Thinkific. So when you want to put content out, you can do exactly that. Um, I wrote a good blog post yesterday about what the media is looking for in your pitch. Now, it refers to both my working with a media course and our Media Connections members course. So I'm putting that link directly into those courses. Mm. I'm not reinventing the wheel. I'm just providing access to further information for people. Yeah. Plus it also helps your visits and your numbers on your website. Absolutely. More, more, more SEO. More SEO gold. <laughs> more SEO gold. Um, and so like, if, if you're probably thinking yourself, okay, so I've got my course idea. Uh, I'm, well, I'm pretty down to do courses now. I've, I've got some, I've validated my, my topic. Uh, I've started to create my, I've started to got an idea of my, of how I'm going to deliver my course content. What equipment do I need? Now, you really don't need, uh, well, I've just seen like one of the, the bullet points is off. Oh. So I'm going to have to fix that, fix that next time. Oh. We can, can we get that edited out? I wonder if I can get that edited out. <laughs> no, wait. Post, get that put in pro- No, post. we're talking about showing <laughs> your real and unique self. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so look, I, I want to make it so clear that you know, look, when it comes to creating courses, you really do not need fancy equipment. God no. Don't need. You really don't need that much. We've got an example here. So this uh, this lady, although this isn't her, this is, I believe, one of the images off her site. So Deanne Love from Hoot Lovers TV. Um, she teaches people how to hula hoop. And when she started, it was a case of grab a hula hoop, grabbed her iPhone and just filmed herself hula hooping in the park. Yep. You know, you, you can get as very like, you can go right back to basics with that. Uh, and then later down the line, once you start to, you know, make some money, you can reinvest in like better microphones, you know, maybe a better camera, but it really always comes back to like your, um, the, how you want to deliver that course topic. Cause for example, if you're just recording, uh, if you're teaching people how to play the guitar and, yes. you, and you want to quiz people, like uh, you can just simply play, play your guitar into play computer, the audio play the audio file and just drop it in. So yep. there's a lot of, um, got to sort of adapt to whatever your, like, your course topic is. Some things are going to be more visual than others. Um, yeah, guys, with your phone, Rode has two yeah. very, very cool mics that are both under 100 bucks. So one is their SmartLav mm -hmm. mic, which you've just got to use in flight mode. Otherwise, it puts a shitload of feedback in there. Um, and the other one is their, their Smart, so that's their, their video mic me, which plugs in. It's got a wind cover for being outside mm -hmm. and all sorts of things, and it's a light, bright night. Nice, bright, shiny object last year, but it is the mic that I use to record all of my courses. Or they've got the lapel mic, which is goes well, plugs into your phone, really simple and easy to do. Um, well, and they them. are both under a hundred bucks. I haven't seen so, that lapel mic because we use one for our, our monthly updates. Which, by the way, Linda, hang you're on a need second, to... I'll show you. No, no worries, mate. I'll uh, grab it for you. <laughs> oh, it's a long way up. Just wonder if uh, the laptop is going to fall over now or something like that. That'd be, that'd be quite funny. Uh, there we go. Uh, okay. That is the video me mic that plugs oh, wow. into my smartphone. And it's got a little wind muff thing that's obviously not on my desk because I don't use it. And the lapel mic is no different to a set of earbuds. Nice. Like that. All oh, right. So it little in pl plugs into your phone. Mm. Great for Absolutely. screencasts, great for all of that sort of stuff. So, yeah, they're the road ones. And I'm a road girl, so I like their stuff. It's simple to use. But yeah, I think the um the lapel mic's sixty dollars. Nice, check that out. Could be cheaper, um, okay. Probably, probably. <laughs> the pounds going down constantly. Although I, I, although I'm not there anymore, Linda. I'm in Canada. I know you're, you're in Canada. Beautiful, what am I talking about? Let's just say beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I know any, I know it's cheaper in the Canada. US to buy. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're cheaper in the US to buy than they're out of buy here. Everything's so cheaper in the US, it seems at the moment. Yes. <laughs> so, the, <laughs> But guys, that's um, how simple it is. I use yeah. my Samsung tablet because the pixel resolution in my Samsung tablet is as good as I would get in any video camera. Yeah. Plus, and if I look at the little Samsung word, I look at the camera. <laughs> that's it. You got it. So like, and this is the thing as well. Like you, the most of the time, if you're delivering content via like slides or if you're delivering content via like, like, like what we're doing today, like a webinar, yep. You don't, you really seriously don't need that fancy equipment. So yeah, I want everyone to like stop worrying about that because that hopefully we can, you can now put your fears aside. And if aside, you need so. light like I do, so I've got light in here today. Yeah. Can you see, I don't know if you guys can see the mess there. Yeah, you can see the mess, but no, there's a big light. There's umbrella lights in my office here. There we go. Oh there, yeah. And they cost you about 50 bucks on eBay. Yeah, so you have, uh, so what's the, uh, I'm trying to remember the top, we've we done, we done uh, like a mini Is course recently filming you have to do the lights yep. you have to have one at the back one yep. at the one at the side and one at depends, the depends where it's coming from so it's not always do you need light at the back it needs to be no shadow on your face so in my case is one here and one there because i'm on a white background uh, okay but of course i break every video rule i wear black yeah, so pastel, pastel colours. I'm just wearing, I'm yeah. wearing all black today. Yeah, I, like, um, I love that everyone says, you know, lots of people say about solid bright colours, but I wear black because that's my brand colour. And as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't darken my face that much. Got to stay on brand, was, mate. Oh, God, absolutely. Got to stay on brand. And I'd have to change black, my wardrobe. Red, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so, you, so if everyone's thinking like, okay, so this is great. I've sort of, no, how long is it going to take yeah. me? Well, really... It shouldn't really be taking you any more um, than sort of like 30 days or so to, to actually build it. And we say around two to four weeks to, to take it to market for its yep. initial launch. Um, and the key here is that you shouldn't, shouldn't be a case of like launching it and then sitting back 
you know, oh, okay, I've watched the course, great. I'm going to just sit back and just watch the money roll in. Oh, you know, is that how it happens? Pretty sure. Well, that's what I've been told. There's lots of blogs out there <laughs> oh. that say that. Now, guys, but, when you launch it, it is, yeah. and I would say this to anyone who launches a course, you need to be prepared for the next two to three weeks to continually repeat yourself. Absolutely. You have launched this course. Got to tell and everyone. And when you're sick of it, it only means you're just scratching the surface. <laughs> yeah. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. But there's that, there's that, um, uh, what's it? I forget what the, the guy's name is, but he, he's like a, it's a Navy SEAL. And he says that, you know, you've only, when you, when you think you've like, your body's hit like the absolute limit. Yeah. That means you've only hit like 60% of what your body can give you or what you feel that you can continue with. So Based on the social algorithms, based on your newsletter reading, based on everything, people won't read it and they don't see it. And the other thing is, guys, they're not going to see your course pop up in their feed and go, oh, my God, I have to take it until they're ready for that help. Mm. So that is mm. why it consistently needs to sit within your marketing funnel. Absolutely. And it's also why you've also got to make sure that you are identifying with that core pain and that core objective mm. that that person wants to get because, you know, I've, I, being in the industry that I'm, and I'm sure we, we both have this on our Facebook feeds, but being in the industry that we're in, majority of my feed is just post after post after post about, you know, Facebook advertising or yep. learning, you know, learning something like something that isn't really, a lot of the stuff actually isn't really that targeted, but it's always when I, there's always like that, that short headline at the top that sometimes always just speaks out. To Get my attention. Yep. Yeah. It's for attention. So if you got, that's one of the ways to do it. Try and think of that objective. Try and think of that outcome and how you can tie that into it. Like and guys, for those of you who watched the webinar with Cara, la, not last week, but the week before. So we had Cara Lambert come in, Patty, and talk to us about Facebook mm. ads and how to use it. Call out your audience. Yeah. Call out to them, grab their attention, and then ask them to do something. Yeah. You that's the way to do it. the ad out there and go, oh, I, you know, that looks like bright shiny object. The bright, shiny object needs to, you need to ask your people to do something when you're marketing. You got it. And I think it's also important as well that, you know, if you do, if you do something like Facebook advertising, it's important not to just do the one ad. And then if you don't, if you're not over, exactly overwhelmed with the response, mm. then not to like sort of put it to one side and say, I'm never going to do it again. But it up, I always play say, it up. but play out. But I always say to everyone in your first, when you're first starting out, keep it as simple as possible. You know, reach out, to, you know, again, reach out to, to people in your community, like-minded influencers, like-minded uh, mm -hmm. people like Quora, other online communities, offline, go to coffee meetups. You know, yep. so if you're working, and I know, uh, Linda, you do this as well, you know, you go to like business meetups in like the local area and you yes. talk about how to do X, Y, and Z. That is an amazing way to generate like, guest speak. great interest in traffic. Go and do some guest speaking. And jump on and podcasts. Then, yeah, do podcasts. I'm, I've had a few invites for, punk up, for podcasts, but I'm still uh, weighing up what I'm going to talk about. So I uh, don't know yet. Why? Maybe, I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Like, I've got so much knowledge to give. <laughs> 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 okay, simplify it. What would you teach a course on and do that? I think I'm going to do that. So that's a great, that's a great tip there. And that's a great tip for everyone. There, there's as well. your PR tip today, guys. If you are sitting there, you're procrastinating, Patty, just get out there, pick the topic, <laughs> talk to the topic or ask the podcast audience, what do you want to know? They yeah. know their audience. The host will know their audience. The host will know what their audience wants to know. I'm going to give that a shot, mate. So I'll let you know. There you go. There's the your free PR coaching today, guys. Well, well, thank you. <laughs> Cut your, cut your check. Now, yeah. Your, services rendered um but also what's really important is that you know you don't fall into like the perfectionist trap of everything's got to look perfect before i launch and you know i'm you know everything's got to be looking right it doesn't matter just just get it out there Never you know, gonna as, be long perfect. As, it, as long as obviously it's legible and you can read it and the person can get the objective that they want no least, handwritten notes guys <laughs> yeah, no handwritten notes God, i can do that my handwritten notes <laughs> I remember last time I wrote a handwritten note. <laughs> birthday cards. Uh, my fiance doesn't so get birthday. It's not your writing on the Christmas card I got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know I, I done a quite I done like I think like ten of them at the end. Like it was like oh I was like reading <laughs> my hand like it was just it was kept me really illegible. But so guys, the perfectionist the trap is something you can literally fall into. Please don't. Yeah. It is really so, something that you need to get out there. 
Um, now, I'm sure all of us, actually all of us will have fallen into the perfectionist trap at one stage in time in our yeah, life. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I've, I've done it. I've done it plenty of times. You know, it's sometimes it is really easy to, and it's usually about, it's usually the easiest thing that can usually be resolved. Yep. And if you're That's in the perfectionist me. trap and you're a mastermind member, tell us what it is or tell us what it is if you hear it in the webinar. Oh, mm. she wants to comply. Yeah, it's my dog. Probably might be able to see the background, but uh, <laughs> probably here. Where is she? Let her in. No, oh, I might let her in. Give me a let sec. Let her in. <laughs> Poor puppy. No. So guys, you will fall into the perfectionist trap. If you fall into the perfectionist oh. trap, identify it and move on from it is the best tip I can possibly give you because identifying it and moving on from it hey gorgeous she's green yes she has actually yeah looks like a little, looks like a little lion don't you oh I'm gonna put it down hopefully she doesn't chew on the numerous electrical cables running in this room <laughs> but um so yeah I was just saying Patty if they do fall into the perfectionist trap to identify and move on from it that has no, got to be key absolutely. with what it is. Yeah. So either call yourself out on it. Um, I'm a good one for if I've ever fallen into the perfectionist trap or I'm, I'm stuffing around, as I call it, I will literally call, talk, call myself out in front of my stuff. Well, oh, really? So that, yep. Yeah, I'd love to see that one time. The video, no, like live stream. Didn't, didn't say you were there. I'm about to call myself out on the perfectionist trap. <laughs> But, you know, yeah. I'll do it. I'll say, look, I'm not doing this. I'm fluffing around with it or I'm the last person to get something done. Um, yeah. There is, there is really easy to fall into the perfectionist trap. And even to the point that I said about skills webinar, that we haven't done it and I should do it. I should have all the yeah. replays in our Think You Fix School because it's another place people can access them. So it's about being aware of that stuff, guys, and about being aware of when you're um, putting new content out and, and falling into that perfectionist trap. Absolutely. And we're here to help so, you get through that in the mastermind if you want to come in yeah. and join us. Yeah, like if, you, if you're having one of those days where you, know, you just need that kick up the butt or you need that, that extra push to get to get yourself going you're still thinking like you know what can i do just reach out talk to us we're happy yeah. we want to help we really want to help that's that's all we want to do so do bear that in mind everyone um, now we were going to going to go on to um so i appreciate we've hit we've hit sort of Time. six but but i don't yep. know if uh, i'm ready to keep going yeah look let's keep going on the how do yeah. i pre-sell my course because it's pretty important guys if you do Definitely. have to leave we understand there will be a replay at no the worries. end if you've got any questions you want us to ask please pop them in the q a box and we will answer them so you can watch them in the replay which i promise i will try and get up this afternoon but uh, i'm i promise this is this is gonna be one of the easiest ways to pre-sell your course because um what we've done over at thinkific is uh we've taken basically like all the hard work out of it so no longer do you need to build like custom pages and right. build new lists. You don't need to do that anymore. Everything is now been pre-built in a, a template. Pre template. I know. I tried play with it the other day. It's, it's gorgeous. So easy to use. And we're going to do the grand reveal of our new, <gasps> well, site builder. So we're going to show you how it works. Uh, I'm going to be a tiny bit slower than I usually am because this is still also very, very new to me. So do bear with me. Mm -hmm. And if I do screw something up then well that's that's life we're and learning I, together i'm gonna to have to just shoo her out immediately because uh i'm afraid everyone's ears won't uh won't be able to take the the pitch <laughs> <laughs> so let's get it started i'm gonna uh just pause my screen for a moment and then we'll uh and we'll get going i haven't seen the new course builder yet guys so i'm pretty excited then so, yeah, find out so when just, you're going to see me over a long weekend with a glass of wine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to verify that as well. If you've, if you've logged into uh, your account or not, I'll be, I'll be checking Linda. I'll be checking. Long weekend. I don't know if I'll be. <laughs> in yeah. I'll I think I'm doing a webinar morning. on Friday. Yeah. I'm doing a webinar Friday as well. And that's that. Oh. Right, so it's going to be interesting. One of the people can turn up for that. Hopefully everyone, because everyone's got the day off. Right. But um, here we are. The brand new, Thinkific uh, interface. So what we've done is for those that are familiar with the Thinkific, uh, with you know, the Thinkific platform, people that have used this before, you probably know that back in the past we used to have everything scroll. You could, you could yep. scroll down Huge forever. Overwhelm. Lots and lots of stuff there, you know, orders, users, surveys, reports, all the stuff there. Um, but it was never really categorized. So 
listen to the feedback of, um, you know, of all of our students, all of our users, everyone that loves our product. And what we've done now, we've sort of distilled it into its like four core components. So straight away, you can go in and design your entire site from scratch. Yep. Reset templates, landing pages, brand new, beautiful themes. Uh, excuse me. I still use like version one themes. Um, so I'm very bad. Almost I've got version one theme still. I think you're on what version one. So uh, I know me and you're going to talk about getting that, getting that moved yeah, over. I'll get there eventually. Um, yeah, in time. <laughs> I like um, what I've got at the moment. <laughs> that's it. Look, you know, if if you if you want, if it, if it's working for you, then you know you can move it over in time. Time there. we can create a new school. You now we can get yeah. you created on a new school, and then you can uh, do it, your next test course on the on the new site builder. I'll be fine. Uh, I'll move it across. <laughs> I'm not we're not redoing this again, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> we do it once. <laughs> so you've got all the other content here. So you've got managing your learning content, so courses, your categories, your instructors, your video library, publication requests is where you're working with, um, you know, people in like a collaborative sense. So, yep. uh, so maybe Linda's a guest course creator on my site and she's, talking, and she's teaching about PR. So she will, she'll create her course. She'll send it to me for review and then I approve it. Yes or no. Yep, um, sharing revenue. Uh, which is obviously where then I'll cut the, the 90, 10 check. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then we've got market and sell, uh, market and selling courses. So coupons, sales, widgets, orders, yep. uh, your integrations is where you like your payments live. So Stripe, PayPal, um, Google analytics, Facebook tracking, all of that stuff's in there. Uh, your affiliates as well. So people you're going to be doing joint ventures with. Uh, and importantly, we wanted to categorize like supporting your students. So we've got users, groups, you can check the progress. You can engage your students via discussions, check the reviews of your course, quizzes and service notifications. So a lot of still familiar stuff there, but it's been yep. packaged in a way where it's now easy to navigate and get to where you want to go. But and in using now, that last week, I found it pretty awesome. So Yeah, it's super simple. So anyone that's using groups as well, anyone sending to organizations, it's a great, it's a great way to do it. So um, this is the new, this is what the, the new, um, Themes that like Things so like that's that. what the, that was what the old theme looks like. Does everyone yep. remember that the altitude theme? Yep. I used to ask five Canadian winter. These so are two of the new ones. Image out. Yeah, so we've got new ones that are going to be coming as well. Um, we're going to, we've got these are absolutely amazing. So I want to look at these themes now. You've got access to three themes with four different styles, or in some cases, three different styles. Okay. And the other is that you can select each one, which has a different branding different imagery and it's sort of geared oh, towards look, Liz, look go back go back one Liz, look back back that one. Oh <laughs> yeah keeping. <laughs> if that was if that isn't like a sign I don't know <laughs> if that's what not it. a sign Liz there you go. Right should we okay I I mean I think I think Liz let's uh let's let's, 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 let's use this on the way. <laughs> yeah. And the great thing is that you can do a quick snapshot to see what it'll look like. And if it's oh, going to be on what's well, like I'm a mobile hours. So oh, get away from the cables. Um, so get these other ones here. So Vogue empire vision. Uh, but let's, yeah, let's, let's get, let's get this one going. I'm going to get this started. So we've got spark and empire build my site. So it takes you straight into, so you can see now this is, this looks very, very different, doesn't it? So yep. it's less the sort of the blue, the bright blue bar at the top. What we're now doing is working on all your different um, pages uh, and all your different courses. So first of all, we we'll jump into like your theme settings and this is where you're going to be able to select those different styles. So we've got Spark and then you should see, you see how the fonts changed and the, yeah. and the uh, iconography has yep. changed as well. Edge. I think that looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to keep, uh, I think this one's Halo, so we keep that. Or is it chat? Oh, there we go, that's better. Yeah, so that, that looks amazing. So we're going to keep that. Uh, the colors as well. Now, for those that are, and I know this is like, this will be brand for, me, for me, it's like one of the biggest things. When I, when I was creating my first course, I found it was really, really difficult sometimes to keep moving from like what was like the page theme and what yep. was like the site theme and the site color. Uh, but now we've actually put everything here into the one and you can yep. start making changes straight away. But now when you start building out your course and your course, uh, your course sales and landing page, 
what, what it does, instead of going to your courses and then going into your page builder, you can actually select which course you want directly from your, uh, you know, directly from your site. And then it's going to bring you straight to your sales landing page here. So this looks, personally, I think this looks like a million, this looks like, it yep. doesn't even look like it was built on our platform. It was like so, 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 so different compared to the others. Here, maybe put you down for a sec. Um, the great thing now is that you can still move these icon, these, these about. Okay, perfect. And I know this is big um, as well. So you can actually jump now into the social, uh, social media icons. So you can actually now put them straight in and a direct link to your course. Oh, perfect. So when you start building out your course, your sales, your sales page is going to be the way for you to, to actually go and like collect that email data. So you've yep. got to make sure that your, your email page, your uh, landing page looks absolutely perfect. So hopefully straight away, everyone can see that you're going to be able to like build a, build basically like a, a sales page in just a few minutes time. So headings here, go to each checklist item. You can, you can change different ticks, different icons, change the descriptions. You can put in whatever you want now. So awesome. you can see it's a much more, uh, it's much more powerful version of our, of our yep. tool. You can drop in a different products, uh, different buttons. You can even drop into secondary links within your, uh, your course site as well. Okay, cool. So what do you think so far? It looks pretty Larking. good, doesn't it? Yeah, no, no, it's going to be awesome. And it's looking like it's quite easy to do. And as you said, did you, so what you're saying there, Patty, is if you decided to rebrand all your courses with that, with that link, you can literally tick to do that. Is yeah. that right? Or? Yeah. So um, we recommend, though, that if, you, if you're currently a Thinkific user and you're not old yep. themes and you want to upgrade, um, yep. we recommend um, maybe doing like a backup of your theme, which you can do, you can save. But I, I can send some instructions through yep, on perfect. the webinar. Uh, on the, uh, the mastermind, email. yep, yep, exactly, and in the mastermind as well for those that want to want to do it. Um, but I actually want to quickly show you the um, the courses as well, so you can still go into the courses like the old-fashioned way. Yep. Say so here, and this is where you're going to start building out um, course material. Actually, I'm going to create a new course. I'm going to show the template. So pre-sale. So this is what you need to do. So you go to your courses section. You yep. hit choose pre-sell, how to survive connect AC. You can see okay. I've done that a few times. No. <laughs> how to survive Canadian winter, how to survive Canadian winter, 2019. Hit create. And the beauty, beauty of this is now is that you, you everything is done for you. So you're, so obviously your themes and, and the way that's all set up is, is yep. done however you want it to be. But what we've done is we've actually taken the time to build you out this whole template here. So it shows you how to actually enroll the students, how to put, uh, what to put in there, what you need to do before you go, the text lesson. Yep. So all you need to do now, if you're, if you're still on the fence about creating an online course and you're thinking like, well, what's going to be the best way for me to start? This is the best way to start. Sign up with the Think of It platform. Grab your, uh, go to you know pre-sell my course. Yep. Click one button, and then your, and then start adding in your video content because we're going to show you exactly what you need to do. So, first thing you should do is definitely get your message from the instructors. So it'll be, hey, it's Paddy. Thanks for joining me. Uh, welcome to the page. We're going to change talk. the title, guys. <laughs> change the title. Yes, change the title. Please. Gosh, yes. <laughs> But you can change the title to wherever you want, wherever yep. you want it to be. But you can drag and drop, put your video in there and say, hey, it's Paddy. I'm going to teach you more about how to uh, do a webinar with Pomeranians. Uh, and then just start filling in the blanks. And again, your questions are there. See, this short survey helped me understand what you're expecting from this course when it launches. So what we've done is we've taken all like the the hard work, the guesswork out of making, you yep. know, you reaching out to your audience and getting those reviews. It's all in here, which you're then going to be able to re actually review on your, uh, you know, through your platform. So just fill in the information, put in the steps here, and then just go to build landing page and then you're, you're good to go. And that's it. That's how you pre-sell course. That really is as easy as that. So you, oh, you put your pricing in. No, and put your pricing in. Well, as long as you've, 
as long as you start building out your content, start building out your content. And as you can see here, building an actual course site, membership site, is going to be an absolute piece of cake. And you can do can it. Can you in, preview the landing page for it so everyone can see the landing page for the course as well? Absolutely. Because yeah. you're, you're a student preview there. Because I like everyone to see everything. So I'm going to go back into the site builder. So this is the landing page. So this yep. is where you start dropping it in. So you say, that's the banner. I'm going to drop in an image. New. And one quick thing for everyone that we've actually, we've done everyone a solid here and we've integrated this new um, like social media uh, way to like link all your social media accounts. Oh, so yep. you can actually directly link from your Facebook, Instagram, Google Drive, Dropbox. <gasps> Google Drive. A link. Yeah. So, you know, if you, I, I use Google Drive at the time. Yep. Um, it's great. It's a, definitely a great way to do it, but you could just drag and drop any image you want. So I'm going to find uh Usually the usual image I have, which isn't, I don't know why, I need to change it because it's like so low res. I always mean to do it. That's one thing I always like, <laughs> mean to. Go to but, Pixabay today and change your there image. There you go. So you can put your, put your banner up there and it uploads yep. straight away. And then it's just a, and look, it's just a matter of like making it either bigger, either smaller. And um, for those that have previously created courses with us and saw that everything was like um, aligned to the left, we yep. can, you can now actually start moving everything over Central. to the center. Oh, yay. <laughs> That's the reaction everyone, you know, like most people I've, I've like demoed this to, they're like, oh, wow, you can, you can like move you can it make, over. You can move text. <laughs> move text. Welcome to 2018. But um, no, look, it's, it's done now. So you can start aligning this. Now, what we haven't done, if people are asking like, you know, can I move, you know, can I just grab this and like move it over yep. here or move it over here? Not yet. We haven't done that. And then there's a really good reason for that is to make sure that the site is completely mobile responsive and yep. works across all devices. Uh, one thing I find when I'm using like a, a landing page, a very well-known landing page builder, yep. um, although it's super flexible and you can move stuff around, every time I go to like the mobile side of things or it, it just never comes out right. Mm -hmm. So we've tried to give as much flexibility with the platform as possible while still giving a great experience to the students. Because remember, that is really what it's about. I have one question for you. Go for it, mate. With courses that you want to say challenges that you run and you want to republish the, the challenge yep. for a different group, is there a way of taking it so the testimonials from the existing one copy over, so from the people who last took it? Um, I'm pretty sure. Mm, that's a good question. I don't think it worked for me on the last <laughs> time I did it, but that could be me. I think if you create, if, I mean, if you duplicate the course. Yep. Excuse me, uh, Linda, I'll check that for you, mate. Check, uh, check you can check it out because that's what we're doing, you know, with the Instagram challenge and the Facebook Live challenge is we're getting reviews, but it would be awesome to either be able to put the testimonials in from the last one on the new course or have them come yeah. across with it. Let me see. Let's try it now. So uh, social proof, reviews, logos, reviews. And look, that's how easy it is. If you want to add in reviews, you just click yep. a button, drop it in, and then... Go to your section. Where is that? So you have to forgive it me. It would be I'm awesome taking... if your reviews would came and come across from all of your courses rather than just one course. Yeah, I think we've like I think we've we've tried to keep it um, mm. per oh, course. Test cause... Testimonials will be fine. I can work with that. Let me see. That's okay. I used to check that out. I'll check it out. So for everyone, um, so everyone wants to know to answer that question as well. We'll get into the mastermind and we'll get, and we'll get that out. I'll check yep. it out for you. But that's a great question. Yeah. That's not one I've been asked before. So, uh, yeah. No, it's just, well, when you want to replicate a challenge, you want to, re you don't want your other people not to have access, but that information changes. No, oh, you got it. Yeah. You got it. So, um, what I want to do now is, so, so first of all, is there any other questions about the new, the new site Go builder? Yeah, what ask, it ask away guys. We got any questions? Yeah, let us know. Let us know. We in the have chat. gone over time, so I know we've look, we've lost a couple of people. So apologies no, for that. Good. No worries. Um, let me Not see. So far. if we've got questions, please answer, please ask away, guys. Please ask any yeah. questions that you have. But we'll talk to you about. Let's share the details on the course for creation mastermind that neither of us got approval for, so we're probably both in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the uh, got the link here. So but we we put it. this baby together and we like it. Definitely. No, I think it's also we're we're doing great things. Just a sec. 
I have fun playing with those. Yeah, I oh, know. It's, it's 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 great. Like the the new site, the new site builder is like for me, it's like one of the best one of the best mm. things uh, we're doing as a as a business. And we got some super. Oh, by the way, for those that are um, the who uses do you use Active Campaign, Linda? What, what no, I don't. Um, I'm a magic girl. We've just launched a new Active Campaign integration. integration. Yeah, so one of our like latest ones for for emails, and we've got a lot more coming up in the future as well. Mm, yay! Uh, Bring up. I had the link. I had the link on the presentation in in the comments. So I just need to uh, grab it up. Scroll to the very end of the presentation, as always, and then uh, and go find it. But uh, yeah, the idea is that with our with our course mastermind, we're gonna basically gonna be out, we're gonna be there as like your point of point of resource. If you've got questions, if you've got if you need that extra push, that extra motivation to you know go out there and and really make share your, your course, information. share your information, share your knowledge. Then we're going to be here. We're going to be here for you. So, I'm going to shoot the uh, link. I've got the link now. I'm going to shoot that into the uh, chat box. Into the chat for everyone. Uh, Linda, I hope that works. That Didn't looks. It? That's yep. good to me. There I'll you go. click on it. Make sure it um, does. Yep, it works. Yeah, perfect. So, the idea of our, our bonus bundle is that we're going to basically give you over eight hundred dollars worth of training and and support and support from the. Uh, you know the the BBB Mastermind community. So we're going to give you so just for forty nine bucks US, we're going to give you access to eight hundred dollars worth of premium training. Um, we're also going to give you your access pass to the BBB Course Mastermind. Now for those that are there is no working, extra cost in that one, guys. Do it by the way. Yeah, there's no extra cost. There's actually no extra cost. So as long as you that you work with Thinkific and we we your course site, then you'll get access to this amazing platform. Now for those that are um, also working with Linda. Uh, yep. But you also work with Thinkific, and you've not heard about this before. Then absolutely, okay. let let us you know. Just get in yep. touch with us, and we can uh, and we can make sure that you get. So guys, if you are on a paid Thinkific plan, so the forty nine dollar plan a month or forty nine US or a month, you can get access to the group. We have not said that it has to come through us or anything like that. If you are a BBB member or you're watching the replay, we are happy to help yeah, you definitely. through definitely. this course. So you could be a Thinkific user before today. And come in and join the mastermind. I don't particularly, I'm not that stressed about it. What it is is about providing you some great information and some great resources Absolutely. and being able to get there and be, get get out there and talk about course creation from each other. So that is the the bundle is the uh, essentials plan or above. Yeah. Um, over eight hundred worth of course and research resources. You then get access to Patty and I. You can ask us questions. You can go. Oh my god! And you can say when you're stuck in a perfectionism trap that you we all get stuck in. I'm stuck and I won't hit publish. Why won't I hit publish? And yeah. we'll come in and encourage you through that process. Um, one of the things I will record today when I do it is how do I put the links in to a yeah. course? So I'll put that in the mastermind group today because I get that there's all those resources out there, but sometimes you just need them in a nice little handy spot to remind you to do things. Yeah, exactly. So that'll be in the mastermind later on today as well. And then Patty and I do a couple of live streams in there because we like sharing information. Definitely. So I'll be interested to hear. So if, uh, let us know, like, let us know. So for those that join the mastermind, for those in the mastermind, yep. let us know what um, you perhaps what you want, want to see, like on. another, like impromptu mastermind or like uh, live stream. Love yep. to, uh, love to get that sorted out. Um, Beautiful. To, to the two courses we're running as well, access to pricing your course. We're going to show you how to basically overcome yep. uh, all the stress and pain points when it comes to pricing. And then we're going to show you how to get your first 30 students in 30 days for our 13 30 program. So, um, and that's only, so you're getting basically $800 worth of training support for just 49 bucks. Okay. So, so guys, you have the link in the chat box. It's in the US dollars. 49 US. Just for those those that are in Australia, just in case. Well, we're all in Australia, most of us. You have the link in the chat box, guys. It is not an offer that I'm going to push down your throats and say you must pick up. So if you want to take it, it's there. It's it's ready for you to go. So just head, put your details into that page, and then we'll be able to get you all set up and started. If you're an existing ThinkyVic user, message Paddy or email Paddy and let him know because he controls who gets in because he sees the ThinkyVic side of this stuff. I don't. Um. So he needs to mark off your school. So message yeah. him with your school details so we can go and check it out. Okay. Apart from that, we are done for this week. Can you believe it? Wow. We have talked course creation. We've talked turning your knowledge into an online course. And I do encourage you to pop into the comments of the replay when we've got it on the BBB website. 
what your course is, what you're creating and allowing us to be able to get in there and see what you're doing. So that would be awesome if we can see what you're creating. Um, Guys, next week, we are on April 3rd, we have Alan Crabb, who's the founder of Possible and Virtual, coming to talk to us about crowdfunding for your business. So how you can use crowdfunding. Yeah, I know, it's pretty awesome. Um, So he's coming in to talk to us about that one next week. That is pretty cool. Register for that one as soon as you possibly can. Seriously, I reckon it's going to fill up. So make sure that you're registered and you're in for that one with Alan and I next week. And then the following week, we have the business salesy person, Clive. So um, my BBB co-founder, Clive, is coming in to talk to you about actually identifying your ideal client. Okay. Mm. Um, and it's not the fluffy version of identifying your real client. He's going to step you through the processes that he works with all his coaching clients on, on actually how to know who your client is so you can save yourself an incredible amount of time in yeah, trying, to find, trying to market to people who are not your client. So it's followed on from the webinar we do with Cara. It's followed on from some discussions we have in networking groups. So they are our next two webinars coming up. There's a couple of others in the pipeline that I'm excited to talk to you about as well, but I can't tell you them all yet. And if you haven't already found out about it, April is 30 days of business tools inside business, business, business. So that is a tool that we're going to release to you each day in the month of April that we like and how we like using it so that you can look at some tools for your businesses too. It's a crazy yeah. big month ahead. So please come and join us and say hi to us in the group. Thanks, and Patty, thanks for joining us. Linda, it's a pleasure. You. Thank you so much, mate. Always a pleasure. See you again next week. Bye. Bye-bye.